Uh, what's up YouTube? Um, this is tutorial series number two on um, how to make a website in Notepad. Um, this time it's going to be super easy, like you can't really get any easier than this. Um, basically, I'm just going to teach you guys how to make, or how to, um, sorry, how to uh, put a background color into your website and, or put a, no, sorry, just or, um, put a background image into your website. Um, it is very simple. Um, so, last time I left off with this, uh, if you haven't watched tutorial number one, I'd recommend watching it, unless you know what this is. Anyways, um, so to put a background color in, basically, you just click inside this body tag right here and make a space and then type in bg color equals and then whatever color you want um just go with like green control s or command s whatever the heck to save and voila it's green uh yeah you can do any color you want um i'm i mean you guys get the point but yeah um, and then also, instead of putting the names of colors in, um, if you guys know what color codes are, um, you can, in Photoshop, like, the, it's the, when you go look at a color, it's the code with a number sign in front of it. Um, I don't know if you guys are Photoshop users, it's in After Effects too. Um, but basically... I have this website right here that I'll put in the description. It's amazing. It shows you all the colors and it shows you the codes for it and they all work. So, oh, chocolate. I'm going to go with chocolate and basically you copy the number as well as the, or sorry, the code as well as the number sign in front of it and then just paste it into these parentheses and control us to save. Oops. And then you open this and refresh, and we got the chocolate background. Um, and yeah, so like I said before, I'll put this website in the description. It's pretty amazing. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, background image. Um, also very simple. Um, so you're still, we're still in the body tag, and then we just got going to want to go body background equals parentheses okay so I downloaded a picture off of Google Images or I just saved it to the desktop um, the name is BG the name of the picture as you can see right here BG and then it is a JPEG so I'm going to want to type inside the parentheses that I made BG.JPG that's the name and then the dot to separate the type of the file and the name and then it's a JPEG so yeah I'm gonna get, uh, control s that to save and then refresh and as you can see this picture right here is the background um, the picture is small so I don't know if you can see right here um, it repeats a bunch. Uh, you probably can't see it. I don't know. Maybe if you full screen 720p. It. Um, but basically, to get it to not repeat, you have to make a um, a CSS. And if you guys want to know how to do that, I can make a different tutorial on how to do it because it's actually really easy. Um, it takes a little bit, but it's really easy. Um, and in the CSS, you go into the body tag. Um, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet, by the way. And basically, I don't know. I'll, I'll explain it later. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on it, um, I can. But basically, you just put no repeat in the body tag of the CSS. And yeah, um, it's really easy. Sorry if I confuse you guys, but yeah, just stick to this for now. Um, like I said, post a comment. If you want me to teach you how to make a CSS, um, that's a lot later um, and in the more advanced stuff, but whatever, I can still do it. Doesn't really matter. Um, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. This is really important. 
If you're going to put a background in, um, make sure it's in the same folder as the page that you're putting it on, or else it won't work. In my case, they're both on the desktop, um, so yeah. But, um, like, let's say, and let me just show you something really fast. Say I make a folder and I put this in here. Um, it's not going to work. Control save that. Control S, I mean. It's not going to work because it's not in the same folder. Um, but if I drag the home page into there and save, voila. Whoa, bro. What is going on? Oh, right. I have to close it. Sorry. Um, well, this is awkward. Sorry, one second. So I dragged the home page in here, and it didn't work before, but oh gosh, this is stupid. I am so sorry about this. Hang on a second. Ah. Uh... This is this is really awkward. Oh, this is awkward. Jeez. New folder. What the frick? All right. Sorry. All right. Anyways, I dragged it into there and it works now. So, you get the point. It's pretty easy. Um So yeah. I'll put this website in the description. Um, if this helped you or you learned something new, anything like that, um, just go ahead and give it a like or a favorite. Um, comment on it um, saying that it helped, something like that. I don't know. Um, but every like helps me a lot. It really does. Um, and thank you guys for subscribing. Also, if you thought this was useful, um, subscribe, please, because that helps me a lot, too. And ooh, I went up a subscriber. Anyways, guys, um, thank you very much. Like, rate, comment, whatever you have to do. Um, anyways, thank you. See you later.